for the water quality, it can really mess up the water quality because you're not just adding in the worms, you're adding all the things that are around it that they froze it in. Betta cannot digest vegetable matter. They don't have the enzymes for it. Yeah, I don't know if it would be very sterile because you do want that beneficial bacteria, that biofilm in there. Betas like frozen dried blood work. I personally don't use it. You never know, like for the water quality, it can really mess up the water quality because you're not just adding in the worms, you're adding all the things that are around it that they froze it in, which can do some damage or at least cloud up your water over time if you're not properly that makes doing sense. water changes or filtering. But as far as the fish, they like to eat it. If it's your only option, it's a it's a decent option. If you can get live food, of course, that's always better, but. Or frozen, frozen's probably a little better. Yeah, well, it's not a bad food for them. If they eat it, they seem like they like it. I mean, that will tell you everything you really need to know. And it really has got more nutrient than a flake would for a betta. Oh it's, yeah. The betta cannot digest vegetable matter they don't have the enzymes for it. Okay. So they'll eat it because they're hungry, but they yeah. poop it out, it doesn't provide any food value for them. I've never been a fan of flake food ever. Oh, I know. It's if, When you look at the process, how it's made, it makes you wonder why anybody would ever put that mess in a tank. It's like eating a thin crisp compared to eating like a steak, you know? Yeah, Com right. What about live, like Daphne? You feed Daphne, I'm sure, don't you? I've got it all over the place here. Okay, so you're growing it in your ponds. Yeah, I've got a 55 gallon full of it, and then I've got some of the Red Russian and then the uh, Magnum as well. The big stuff yeah i don't know if you see my last couple of shorts i was showing a lot of the like little microorganisms that were living in this green water tank that was just oh, cool a cool. complete barley tank but you could actually see beyond the daphnia see beyond the cyclops and see beyond the paramecium it was really wild you're doing barley that's yeah i haven't done that i need to do that you've been down to the co-op haven't you i have i've been to the co-op a few times yeah I get the Ottoheim from them. Have you tried it? I don't think I've ever heard of it. It's a Japanese import. They have it. They've got it in like two pound bags and it comes in 15 different grades. You can get it everything from powder to a BB size pellet. Oh, that's hmm. nice. But get a bag and try it. Is it? What color is it? What color is it? Yeah. Brown, I think. Brown, yeah. See, that's the only thing. Like, I know that food's so healthy for your fish, but when you've got so many aquariums like I do, the thing that helps me with the tetracolor tropical granules is it is bright orange. So if I'm overfeeding, I'm able to see it. But if it's like brown or some neutral color, then it can blend into the aquarium. I may not be able to see it until fungus takes over and or it'll cloud up the water for me. Yeah, I think what happens is they eat it. So <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's really hard to overfeed. When you're that. guesstimating feeding 300 tanks a day. Whoa. Oh yeah, I hear you. I mean, wow. and you switch it up on yourself quite often. You know, you got to be know. careful that feeding. I love nice your tank feeding. setup. I just have to say that. You got Thank the dream you. tank. It's like when they built the Three Gorges Dam, the world ran out of concrete. <laughs> when LRB started his fish room, the entire East Coast ran out of fish tanks. Yeah, I know. At least Florida did. <laughs> 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 it's true. <laughs> Any sick fish yeah. need to come out of the tank and be put in a hospital tank. LRB, tell us what a hospital tank is. That's an extra tank. What? How does it get yeah, very good? <laughs> well, the way, All right. the way it always works for me is it ends up being an extra tank. At some yeah, point. exactly. How, how do you set up a hospital tank? So if I were to set up a hospital tank, I would probably try to keep it as much bare bottom as possible. So like little sand, just maybe a sprinkle so he's not spooked off of his reflection. You don't want that. Yeah. Or you can paint the bottom of your tank. Um, comfortability is what it's all about for that hospital tank. So try to get some floating plants and make sure that they don't have any stress factors around them. That way, when they are healing, they can actually like feel calm and able to do so. I'm glad you said that. I've been pushing so hard for bare tanks. B 
because I've been wanting people to understand that they need to maintain something that's as sterile as possible. Yeah, I don't know if it would be very sterile because you do want that beneficial bacteria, that biofilm in there because that goes a long way with their comfortability, with their skin coats especially because some of that medicine is really harsh on their skin coats. Right. But some of that medicine also doesn't work as strong, like say with bacterial infections, if you've got a buttload of beneficial bacteria in there, those uh, antibacterial medicines, it's hard to counterbalance. So I mean, right. like everything, there's a balance in between, you know? So I guess it really depends on what you're trying to do. Yeah, I guess it kind of depends, but I, I wouldn't say I would keep a hospital tank with a buttload of beneficial bacteria because often usually hospital tanks they don't even usually have filters they tell you to turn the filter off the dose right. that because that filter is gonna clean out that medicine yeah that's true and the, the reality is once you put the fish in there just the fish alone introduces microculture that's on its skin and whatever water drips into it from the net so you know you're essentially polluting the tank just by putting something in it yeah i wouldn't really call it polluting i would call that more seasoning the tank because you do your tank to be seasoned you know you right. don't put them in too sterile of an environment especially if they're coming from a mature tank because uh -huh. that reality could have a lot of effect on their immunity Thank you so much for coming. It's wonderful to see you. Uh, yeah, you enjoyed having the I chance. Love your tank. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And hopefully we can do this again someday. Absolutely. I, Look I, forward I, to it. Yeah. People love to see a father fish LRB live stream one day. I know. Well, we all be awesome. I'm, I'm certainly up for it. You bet. Well, let me know. You, you school me every time we get together. So <laughs> well, schooling each other really we should all be able to school each other and listen to yeah, each other right amen it isn't about who's knows what over what because there's so many ways to keep in this aquarium hobby that it needs to be talked about you know right right love you all right thank, love you. Guys thank, you, thank you so much i'll see you bye for now